so jiggy, you niggas, y'all can't be thinking. I be so bold myself, bring you come and fuck me. I feel so ordinary, say when you won't round me. Treat me like all the way, you wear me out. All you miss, you tear me out. Treat me about you. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome. My name is Pertina. I am here starting off another weekly live. I'm trying to be consistent. I'm trying to walk a lot. <laughs> Today, I'm supposed to be going to the beach. So basically, I am meeting with Amanda. You guys have seen her on here before. You know that friend that you have where you want to meet up a lot, but you don't get a chance. So it just, it's like you can't meet up as much. So yeah, we are trying to meet up. Wait, let me respond to her. Yeah, we want to meet up and we're going to go to the beach. What I've been doing is cutting up some watermelon. And I think I do want to make like some um, some beef patties. So I might try and make some really quickly so we can have that to munch on. And make some extra so she can have. And I don't know if her daughter eats that much right now. But hopefully she can take a little bit too. As much as she can't eat yet. Um, but yeah, I want to make some patties. We have the watermelon. If not, I might make some make some sandwiches or something like that. But we're trying to figure out you now the driving thing because the whole issue with my car and um, it's like that. So what? You keep looking for the really flaming things at me. Don't do that, Auntie. That's not nice. Hey. Anyhow, y'all. Yeah, so we're gonna be meeting up at the beach. Let me just show you guys what I have going on. I have the watermelons here so i was just slicing those off because i want to put them away oh is my battery dying already so i was just literally cutting these up to put away we did buy like a humongous watermelon because jordan couldn't find like the half or the quarter in the store that he went to okay i'm just gonna be packing them away in here Okay, so even though I just cut that off, I still have to cut this off. I think I'm gonna have to wrap up like watermelon because this is a lot. So I have to cut up that. Literally have this left. <clears throat> I don't know what to do with it. I'm gonna be eating watermelon to the point where it's like, <laughs> what are you doing? But yeah, what I'm gonna do because I have so much, I'll just bring all of this so we can share it. The kids can get some, we can eat a bit of it. Should I pack more? No, I think that's good. That's a lot of watermelon. So I'm going to bring that and then I'm going to go ahead and do the patties right now. I'll show you guys like a little bit of it up until when my battery dies because I do have to plug my battery in as well. So that I can have it charged to bring with me because I cannot record on my phone y'all. I have no storage on my phone. I'm just finishing my shake as well but I have no storage on my phone so we got to get the battery charged. But let's go on and start with the patties or maybe I'll plug my, my camera battery in and do a bit of the patties. And then maybe show you guys the process of one of them. I don't know. But I gotta get the. Oh my god, I didn't even take out any beef. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. So I got the beef. Woo! It's not a saw, so I guess I'll just charge the battery in the meantime. And one of my vlogs that I have to. The last vlog that you guys seen, I just finished it last night, kind of. I still have a bit of work to do, so I'll just work on that, do whatever else I have to do. And then hopefully this beef can thaw in time for me to get everything ready. And that's basically that. I'll get back to you guys when we're when I'm doing the patties, alright? So tired that you have to lay on the floor. Y'all seen this girl in the last vlog, how she passed out <clears throat> literally right there in front of the front door. She's doing it again, I think. But it's so early. Why is she so tired? And why is she trying to sleep on the floor? Well, I need to kind of make the floor as well with blankets though. And she got her blankets, so whatever. I'm just coming to grab my camera battery. I don't know why I plugged it in, in the bathroom. But this is basically what I use to charge my camera. Just put the battery in there. 
I need more batteries. You know what I need? I need a better camera. That's what I need. Hopefully. Working towards it. Okay. Alright, let's get this thing popping. everything they do all the work for you it ain't cheap like when we actually went and looked at the price because we used to just buy it and didn't realize it was that much we're like yeah this is handy like it's peeled garlic it stays for a while it's already crushed mint everything but the price was just ridiculous oh my goodness so what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna need the flour because i haven't even started on that as yet okay i think i put too much oil in this i should not put so much oil but oh well i think that's ready now so i'm just gonna do the flour part of it and then i'll start packing them away this watermelon i honestly don't know what to do with it i know i need to wrap it up so it doesn't get like soggy in the fridge but i don't have any plastic to wrap it up like that and yeah i'm trying to eat it off like i literally just put one in the freezer Alright, so now what I'm doing is preheating this oven because I'm not going to use the bigger one because they literally take like 15 minutes, well 15 minutes to cook but like to make it really nice and crispy they take a little longer. So this one has been working fine, this is the one I usually use because it's smaller and just easier to handle. Um, so yeah, I'm pre preheating that right now and I'm about to start on the flour. Watermelon cubes, well that's his idea. Watermelon ice cubes. Welcome to the Swanell's kitchen where today we will be making watermelon ice cubes. Indeed, indeed. Here we have them cut up. That's gonna be interesting. I actually almost froze like a slice today, but I was like, maybe that would taste weird, like just to eat it. Hey y'all, it's later on in the day. We didn't end up going to the beach. So what I'm doing right now is just a little bit of editing okay. the vlog that you guys obviously see before this one. That's what I'm doing right now. Ooh, 
I already had like two other parties and I feel like I'll eat another one because yeah. it was so good. But yeah, that's basically what's up. That's what's going on this week. The vlog. The last vlog. So I'm just gonna go through right now and do the last yeah. bit of editing. Y'all can't even see it. This thing is <laughs> dusty, but <laughs> you get the point. Basically, I'm trying out the watermelon ice cubes, y'all. It's pretty good. It's like, you know how you'd have cucumber water? That's literally what it is. It's like you don't really taste anything, but you taste that there's a hint of something in there. That's what it is. It doesn't ruin it. It doesn't taste like a sweet thing. It's just refreshing. It's just like how you'd have watermelon. Anyhow, I was kind of telling you guys that yesterday we didn't end up going to the beach because eh, we couldn't really figure out like the ride and stuff like that so and then it got a bit late so we decided to do it today so right now the girls are sleeping i put them to sleep because i want them to get a nap before we go because they're going to be cranky if not but amanda will be here in like an hour but what i need to do i washed y'all this morning was a little bit different from usual usually i'd wash and do whatever i have to do and then i would like bring the girls to the park if they want to go to the park i'm trying to like get vicky out of the house more so yeah we went to the park earlier this morning, like as little after Jordan left for work, we went to the park, I did my Bible study there and they played for a little bit. It was more relaxing than when you go in the afternoon time with the hot sun. So I think that's what I'm going to start doing, like bringing them to the park in the morning time. But anyhow, I tried those press-ons that I showed you guys in my last video. They looked pretty cheap, but they feel thicker when you ring them. And I don't really know, I don't know, what do you guys think? I think they look fine. I don't really know though. But as for my hair, yesterday I kind of loosened it out because I don't want my hair to get back to what it was, but I need to catch it up or do something for the beach. But yeah, in the meantime, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be getting all the things together that we need. So I'm going to be packing the cooler and I'm going to be packing like the towels and stuff like that. I have this bag that I usually like to bring to the beach, but then something happened to one of the straps. I don't really know how to fix it. I was trying to find the back to show you guys, but I couldn't. I think I'll just bring this one. Just for the extra stuff. I'll bring my, my summer vibes back, but then I'll bring this for like the towels and the extra food and stuff. I'm going to be packing in here. Or should I just bring the food? But we don't have that much extra stuff. It's just watermelon and the patties and maybe we'll grab some snacks and then the towel. So I think they can all go in here. I don't think we need the cooler to keep the watermelon cool. So this is just a little shopping bag. I got when I bought, purchased some stuff in Jamaica like years ago, like three years ago. I'm surprised we still have it, but I'm gonna go ahead and get everything together for the beach, guys, and then you guys will basically see what happens. I got all our stuff here. I just put like the sunscreen lotion in here and I just have some other random such which I'm not taking out, but I'm gonna bring this. I might see what can fit in there and then I'll see what else can go in here. Okay, so I actually got the towel 
and everything else to stay in here so i'm gonna close this up and then i guess i'll just put the food in here or maybe even put it in the igloo oh by the way i didn't show you guys what i'm wearing so i put this ring on i have this these jamaican earrings on i have this cover up i put on a hat because i didn't really want to do much to my hair because anytime i do a lot of stuff to my hair before i go to the beach i don't want to go in the water or even if i go in the water i don't really want to enjoy it because i'm like ah, i don't want to get my hair wet mm. no not happening today then i have these jamaican shorts my phone y'all my phone is literally at one percent and i'm leaving in a few minutes so i need to go get the girls up i need to pack up the food i need to warm up those patties because i'm bringing the rest of them today for lunch we're gonna grab some stacks as well i'll do it for you guys and then i have to transfer these things off the camera so i have storage to fill let me get back to you guys i need to rush hey y'all it is a little little later on it is now 4 47 i'm gonna put it back i'm gonna put it back any internet so he has to get me some i can't even message her but we're almost at the beach we're like five minutes away from the beach right now but he's grabbing some snacks drinks and some internet for my phone and yeah i'll get back to you guys when we get to the beach hey y'all we stopped at this little food place to get some tacos i think jordan was gonna go over at that one but then we saw amanda <laughs> I'm trying to zoom in on you. <laughs> yeah, it is hot. Yeah, so we're just here chilling. I think Jordan went to get us credit because he forgot the credit. And then he's going to get the tacos and then we'll head off to the beach. It's a bit late, but we'll get there. <laughs> Not a fun inside. He's coming out. He's coming home. I'll say hi to the vlog. Hello, baby girl. This is Amanda's hi. mom. Hi. <laughs> oh, let me see this one. Hello. Hi. <laughs> We're just unloading. <laughs> like donkeys with these hampers. I've been busy just cleaning, chilling with Vicky kind of, um, but now outside, I'm just trying to show you guys like realistic days in my life basically. It's a weekly vlog, but I'm just not going to just show you guys when I'm going out and, and doing something or when, you know, an event is happening. Like this is the real and raw of like my daily life. And if you guys think I'm always cleaning, that's because I always am because I feel like I just need a place together together and it because we recently moved so I just feel like everything is not in its place as yet so I'm always at it um, but right now what I'm doing let me show you guys Every time. 
Left over Gashi. Well, nice. Hey y'all, it is a few days later. It's Saturday now, I think I started this vlog on, I can't remember, like four days ago? I don't know, but I know I got to you guys yesterday, not yesterday, the day before yesterday and the day before, so I know it's that like Tuesday. Anyhow y'all, we are just outside right now because I find that I like going out here in the mornings. I usually bring them in like the afternoon, but the sun is so hot. The sun is actually coming out right now. I usually come out a bit earlier. What time is it? 8 11 yeah the last time i came in the morning was after 7 and i like I, it was so nice it was so peaceful also these nails have been staying on pretty good i was surprised because in my last vlog if you guys watched it i realized not a lot of y'all watch that vlog so if you haven't watched it go over and watch it right now but i was saying what are these because they look so crappy from in the packaging but they're so strong compared to other persons i've used before they're holding up pretty nicely i haven't had any bend or anything with them they're still on like none of them fell off none of them cracked nothing the only thing is the paint on it that's coming off so that's the part i don't like but they're pretty strong so i'd say maybe if you want just straight color maybe it'd be good to order nails from timu but not for designs because yeah i'm gonna use them out though because i did spend my money on those ones so not a lot but still i'm not gonna waste any money but i think i'm gonna end this video off today right now i don't want to drag out the videos too long because i realize you guys don't really like the long long videos so I think I'm going to start going back to like day in my life. I also think I'm going to change my channel name to my name because I realize a lot of people don't actually know my name. So my channel name is Mayamo Perti, which means my name is Perti for short, but my name is actually Pertina. And some people don't understand this whole Spanish lingo to it. So I think I'm going to put my actual name on my channel so you guys kind of know me. And I think I'm going to go back to doing like some sit down videos. Let her play with you. You're already making a mess. Oh my god, these girls are literally in the dirt. I'm going to show you guys soon, but I'm going to go back to doing some sit-down videos, some challenges with Jordan because we won't be using the family channel any longer. I won't be deleting it, but we just won't. Oh my god, the one day I didn't bring the wipes. Ezzy, come here. Does this girl have a rock in her mouth? So we will no longer be using that channel because I realized it most it's most likely confusing for you guys where as some of the content is there some of it is over here and then sometimes you don't watch a video over there because not a lot of you are on that channel so i'm going to be putting everything as of now on this channel like every family vlog i don't see the sense in splitting up the family vlog vlogs because that's a family channel like yeah i'm gonna put everything on here the vlogs the challenges every damn thing just know that as of now content that you'll be seeing is family based and yeah so we'll be doing some challenges some cooking videos for you guys just stuff like that oh my god look at this child <laughs> they didn't bring no wipes Come here. but yeah so i'm gonna be doing mostly family content on here and i'm gonna be going back to maybe just maybe just days in my life i'm not just like if it's a really really important day in my life i'm not gonna be just posting for posting so i think this is my last video that you guys will be seeing like that 
um it's my last video guys that you guys will be seeing like that and if you have any video ideas then drop them down below but yeah that's basically how it's looking for me right now this video it was more on a chilled side like the first day it was just like the prepping for the beach we didn't end up going and the second day we actually went to the beach that night i came home i was tired so i literally just took a shower we had some chinese food and then i got back to you guys the other day when i was doing some inside stuff so it's more like a chill vlog on the chill side but just know like i won't be doing any more of these just random chilled videos unless you guys ask for them i'll be just doing videos that that are i don't know i just feel like there's not much going on and i don't need to be vlogging it so yeah i was able to do my bible study so i'm still not finished because vicky wanted to slide so oh my gosh she's playing in there yeah it's gonna be messy but i'm just reading doing my bible study I find that when I come out here it's easier to do it than when I'm in the house because they want this, they want that, they want to do this, I have to do this, I have to do that. It's like my mind's all over the place. So I like coming out here sitting and just doing my Bible study while they do what they want to do. Well, Ezzy's kind of here right now just messing with everything she's trying to get the tripod. Come on, what are you doing with that? Put that down. Yeah, it was supposed to be a relaxing morning, not so much anymore. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Put it down. Put that down. I'm going to pack up. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm going to pack up soon. I'm going to end. But I just wanted to share with you guys. I'm doing my Bible study. I like to do my Bible study in the morning. Well, usually. But it's a bit more crazy right now because this girl literally just ran off to the bathroom. So I have to run after her with Ezzy because I couldn't leave Ezzy here by herself. However, I just want to show you guys what I was reading about. So I'm reading right now Acts and I'm on Acts 12. And it was about uh, Peter, a disciple of God, being arrested. So he was sent by God to the Gentiles. So in the Bible, the Gentiles and the Jews are, you know, enemies. They're not in any way like close people like no they're two completely different entities and peter was sent by god to basically share the word to the gentiles because the leader of the gentiles had a vision and he was sent there to basically explain what the vision is explain about the word of god you know exactly what it is etc and they started to believe However, when he returned back to where he lived, he started, like he was getting questioned and he was criticized by other Jewish people. Like, why would you do that? Why would you go to Gentiles? You know, we're not, you know, anything. We're not close, whatever. And he explained to them basically what happened and why he went there. And they were like, okay, fine, yeah. All right, we get it. We understand. And they start praising God and stuff like that. However, thinking it's all done, no it wasn't because the Jewish leaders and King Herod arrested Peter now in Acts 12, which I am at now. They arrested him because he, I guess because of what happened, they arrested him and they were obviously planning on doing certain things to him, whatever, I don't know. But they arrested him and an angel appeared to him while he was in prison and basically walked him out past the guards and bring him out to the city, I think or to the gates the gates of the city and then left him there so he realized he was free when he went to mary and the rest of them they couldn't believe that he really got freed and you know king herod basically sentenced the guards to death because they should have been watching but moral of the thing what i got from it because when you're reading from chapter to chapter is like it's not I don't know i'm trying to pick it out but at the same time some of the chapters is like you can see where there's just like one lesson and this one what i'm seeing from the moral of it is just basically i didn't even write it down yet i was about to write it down no matter what people might try try to do to you because you know sometimes god's saying you to do a certain thing and some people might try to basically hurt you because of it or my camera cut out on me when I was trying to explain the story to you guys. So the moral that I've gotten from the story basically is that no matter what people try at you because you're 
you know, you're trying to go on the right path. I'm gonna say you're trying to go on the right path because I know it's not easy. It's not easy for me, it hasn't been easy and not every day I get to take out the Bible and read it the way I want to. There's just things always nipping at you and trying to pull you away from it. And so therefore it hasn't been easy, but what I've gotten from the chapter is that regardless of, you know, you doing what you're supposed to do because you know, that's what God wants you to do that's his purpose for you and you go ahead and you follow what he actually instructs you to do and you feel like oh my god like people hate me or you know it's 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 the end for me right now he will rescue you out of whatever is happening or whatever is going to happen like he was he did what god told him to do basically and because of it he almost died well he didn't almost die god didn't plan on him to die so it's like regardless of whatever the plan that god has for your life is going to come true so if if you're if you're not supposed to die tomorrow if this is not supposed to happen to you it's not going to happen once you're doing what god instructs you to do basically that is what i got from it as i said i'm not perfect i'm still on my journey and i do think i need to like take some time to uh find myself and and get rooted basically on where i need to be i don't know i just feel i'm kind of in between right now like i remember when i was younger and i used to think that <laughs> when you grow up everything is just figured out but no you have to figure it out for yourself basically well you know it's not like everything is just gonna magically fall into place like you have to work for what you want and you have to put in you know the effort to get the results that you want it doesn't just figure itself out you know like you can always manifest but you're gonna have to put the work in to get what you whatever it is you're manifesting you know what i mean so yeah i just wanted to share that with you guys i'm gonna go ahead and finish the kitchen and everything yeah i'm also gonna close the video out here i hope you guys enjoyed if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up you guys will be seeing me in whatever the next one is i won't be doing any more of these like random weekly vlogs i might do like a little short or something on my channel but regardless i hope you get it, it guys enjoy it and you guys will be seeing me in the next one i am so low on energy like i'm ugh, i'm sorry y'all i just that's what it is bye y'all peace out